four minutes and ten seconds of your time. That's all we need to show you something immensely special. A short film, the work of a young man, a 16-year-old. A film made at a time of trial and endurance. Now, this short film has just won awards at the Whanganui River City Film Festival. The work has impressed, if not stunned, everyone who's seen it. Here's the film. DFK 6498, it's called. Freedom is taken so much for granted. You don't appreciate the small things that you have. My number is DFK 6498. A number which was printed on all my records since the beginning of my life here on this very earth. Sentenced to imprisonment. I didn't kill anybody, I didn't perform a crime, hell I've never even drunk a drop of liquor, nor smoked a cigarette, never looked twice at drugs. I'm what you call a 100% straight shooter, but I'm in here, this hell hole, my personal four wall prison. All because of this, this thing, this demon I must care for and nurture, for this is why I'm here. It's amazing how something so simple can destroy so much. The meals here are horrible. Everybody says it. It's amazing how much a human being will endure just to survive. It's always the same here. Always. I have a tendency to feel sorry for myself, but I'm constantly reminded of the others who join me here. These people. They're only young. They too have committed no crime. For everyone here is innocent. I go through the day in, day out routine. The head guard is so punctual. He comes in on every morning, binds me to my room. It's a punishment I must face as part of my sentence. It's like kryptonite to Superman. I hate it. The only thing I have to go by is that it's all for my own good. I suppose it's my fault I'm in here. For years I've spent toying with fate, maybe fate has chosen to toy with me. In which case fate has served this purpose well. I was so free. The world, my playground, the soil, my arena. Fate has pushed me so far as to see my life teeter on the edge of a building. But I would never jump. I live for my peers, for the people I love. For when I die, it is not me who will be affected. It's the ones I leave behind. This would probably be the only goddamn prison that leaves their doors unlocked. It's a torture that each inmate must face, but I dare not leave. Not even for freedom. The worst part about being in here is how time ticks by incessantly so slowly. Being caged doesn't mean that time stops, for we all live our lives by the clock. And so too do I live mine, but much slower. Seconds feel like minutes, minutes like hours, hours like days, days like months. It's like chasing a rainbow to no resolve. You just chase it. I found the best way to pass the time is to sleep. Because when I sleep, I dream. And when I dream, I can rise above the walls of the prison. I dream of waking up among lilies and getting that feeling in my body that only comes when you're by yourself. I dream of the simple things that possess so much beauty for even the most unfortunate man. I dream of listening to the whisper of my breathing, paying attention to the function more so than at any routine moment. I dream of seeing things so beautiful that it hurts to watch them. Freedom is taken so much for granted when you don't appreciate the small things that you have. You know, the hardest part about dreaming is having to wake up. Because when I awake, I'm still here.
It's Cameron Duncan's film, DFK 6498, conceived, directed, scripted, edited, voiced, overed, and acted by this young man, Cameron Duncan.